is for alewife, a type of herring with a rather large eye. B is for black sea bass. An iridescent shimmer can be seen when swimming by. C is for crabs, and boy can they pinch. D is for dogfish. Do you think you could hold this shark and not even flinch? E is for eel. Where exactly they breed, no one really knows. F is for flounder, and we've found plenty species of those. G is for goby. These are quite tiny little guys. And H is for hake. Their food-sensing appendages work better than their eyes. I is for isopod, and J is for jellyfish. Two awesome invertebrate creatures. K is for kingfish. Their barbel on their chin is one of their most distinguishing features. L is for lion seahorse a favorite on our list. M is for mummy chug, what a fun little fish. N is for needlefish and northern pipe fish too. Slender bodied animals with a mouth shaped like a long tube. O is for oyster toadfish, can you guess what they like to eat? P is for puffer fish, one of the most intelligent fish species you'll ever meet. Q is for quahog, a clam local to here. R is for ribbed mussel. If you're in a salt marsh, you will surely find some near. S is for striped bass. Every angler wants this sport fish. T is for tautog. That's the Native American term, but you might know this species as blackfish. U is for urchin. Creatures with protective spiny armor. V is for vertebrate. We have several backboned animals besides fish that visit New York Harbor. W is for whelk, a sea snail with a slimy body that feels a little like goop. X is for ziphosaura. Horseshoe crabs are the only surviving animals left in this taxonomic group. Y is for young of year, or Y or Y for short. Any newborn fish within the last year are a part of this cohort. Z is for zooplankton, quite the perfect ending as any, because zooplankton is at the bottom of the food chain and the starting life cycle stage for many. Well, we've covered a lot from A to Z, but there is much more to learn about our great New York Harbor estuary. For more fun lessons, videos, and activities, visit Brooklyn Bridge Park Conservancy's at home learning page at brooklynbridgepark.org.